it's time for the people's poll. This week, it's all about love. Did you... <laughs> <laughs> Did you know that, according to a YouGov survey, 23% of young people gave up on dating during the lockdown. So I thought, it's time to get it going again. And to do that, we've asked you for your best dating stories. Now, out of the literally thousands of answers, we've chosen some of the best. And those people are with me right now. Hello! Can you see me? Amazing. Nice to see you. So, let's crack on. The question we asked was, what is the most embarrassing thing that's happened to you on a date? So... Uh, who to pick? I feel like the sorting hat from Harry Potter. Which one of you? <laughs> uh, let's go for Emma. Um, my most embarrassing dating story. Um, I was set up on a blind date by one of my really old girlfriends with her boss. And he was a little bit backward at coming forward, shall we say. But I liked him. I thought he was great. And brought him back to my house for the proverbial coffee. Mm -hmm. um, and he sat down on the sofa and I lay rather seductively on the floor. Um, I was trying very, very hard. <laughs> and um, he suddenly was kind of itching his eyes a little bit. And I'd seen a tantric sex thing that some comedian had done the week before. And suddenly this finger was presented to me. Um, and I did my best. I um, popped this finger in my mouth. The worst part was that I took it really, really seriously and I looked longingly into his eyes as I sucked his finger and all I got was, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> that was my contact lens. <laughs> 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 I don't want to get too personal, but presumably your poo looked hilarious. But <laughs> in the, it, it suddenly had a little kind of sci-fi hat on. <laughs> it had 20-20 vision. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. The stuff I've seen. So uh, the stuff I've seen, Emma, the stuff I've seen. Yeah, I enjoyed that. Um, uh, Claire, let's yes. talk. What's your most embarrassing story? Uh, well, it was a it was a blind date. Um, and the first thing I noticed about him was his giant coat and he was carrying a carrier bag. Right, which does scream, let's go to the bushes. Yes, and, exactly. And show everyone uh, what we've got. Yeah, exactly. Um, and he bought the first round down I love his that. I got, I got one minute, one minute, I love that. He's got a big coat yeah. and a plastic bag. Most yeah. people will go, not for me, and you're like, well, I may as well have a beer. But, uh... I was really shy when I was younger. Yeah, yeah. That's what it was. Right. And then he started telling me about his time in the army, and then he quickly said, the quickest and most efficient way to kill you is to shoot you there. And he leant over and pointed into my face. And he's like, and that's what I've done with all the others that I've put in my plastic bag. <laughs> And later on, after you and me have made love, we're going to put these in a blender. <laughs> you didn't see him again, though, Claire? Oh, hell no. Excellent. Hell no. no. Um, Matthew, uh, thanks for coming on the show. Wouldn't it be unlucky if you're like, well, I met this lady <laughs> and <laughs> I had my best coat on and <laughs> I was carrying my plastic bag, telling her all about my kill moves and would she listen? <laughs> Please, please tell me it wasn't that. Please tell me it wasn't that, Matthew. I thought we had a real connection. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well done. Well done. <laughs> uh, my, my worst date actually started out at the time to be my best date. OK. Intriguing. It was a, 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 a very inexperienced 19-year-old boy from the Shire um, to be invited back to the bedroom of a... 40-year-old lady's house of an evening was quite a, a, a good night. Oh, and I tell you what, with your accent as well, it gives a real earthiness to pornography, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> like, there I was, a 19-year-old hobbit, minding my own business. <laughs> Would you believe it? I was staring at the Eye of Sauron. <laughs> well, my lady invited me back to her boudoir for the evening. <laughs> I love it, yeah. And... In my mind, things were going going great, and, and she was on top, going at it a la hammers and tongs. Yeah. Um, <laughs> this is bloody lovely, this is. <laughs> all 
All she said was, just go with it. Just, oh, wow. Yeah. So, so you not, did? Not, know, not, not knowing a thing about the feminine form, yeah. I'm lying there going, OK, then. <laughs> <laughs> and without any warning, any sort of buy or leave, like Ronnie O'Sullivan putting a corner red into the long pocket, she sticks her middle finger straight up my hoop. <laughs> yeah. Wow. And, 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 and we're going in dry. Yeah. <laughs> and because she's on top... And there's more? Just... Hang on, there's more! <laughs> there's more! So she's, she's turned you into a teapot and there's more? <laughs> <laughs> Because she's on top when she said this, yep. well, and I'm quite surprised, yeah. <laughs> I, I jump <laughs> and, and I headbutt her full in the face. Oh. <laughs> and I, I, I crack the nose. <laughs> Matthew, you pig. <laughs> but isn't that no, weird? No, who no, would have no. thought a minute ago when she popped her finger in your bum? that a minute later, you'd have to apologise. <laughs> I mean, that is... Life m changes quickly, doesn't it? <laughs> ah, Jesus! <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> Would you like to put a fist in? <laughs> the problem is, I I've given her a mild concussion. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we we're still joined biblically at the nether regions. Yeah. <laughs> The middle finger is still at my ass. Yeah. And when we finally get separated, her false nails come off. <laughs> Matthew. Yes, sir. That may be one of the stories suggesting why people don't want to date anymore. <laughs> <laughs> that is such a great story. Holy shit, I'm enjoying this. Christine's left. Christine's had enough. She's gone. <laughs> <laughs> Christine, are you all right, mate? Oh, thank God. This is going to change the tone. Um, <laughs> that's all right. That's all right. He hasn't been listening to any of this. Um, it, it, do you know what talking to you lot feels like? It's like the greatest and craziest scratch card imaginary. Like, <laughs> scratch away. Oh, the story's here. <laughs> right, Ali. What's the funniest lie you've ever told on a date? Um, right, well, I basically lied for some reason and told him that I was fluent in Russian. I don't know why. Anyway, he... Just go with it! A... It's what we do in Moscow! <laughs> that's right, that's right. Yeah. And uh, he had a client and he asked, he asked me to speak Russian to him <laughs> and to translate. And I basically just had to pretend that, oh, I, I can't do it right now, I can't, because it's not fair on you, because, you know, you might be insecure about what we say about you, just in case he falls in love with me or something. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's not fair. We're married now, and he still thinks I know Russian. <laughs> <laughs> I'm having to learn the language. Well, what we've learned... We've learned a lot from this week's poll, and I can fully see why there's people at home thinking I'm never going to date again. But <laughs> feel the joy they've given us. <laughs> Please give it up for all my guests today on the People's Poll!